Okay, this is the uh, greatest common factor trick. And probably all the way back to fourth grade, you learn how to find greatest common factor. Remember what greatest common factor is. It's the biggest number that you can divide both numbers by. Now, there's lots of ways to do this, but my personal favorite way is the trick that I'm about to teach you. What you want to do is you want to find the difference of these two numbers. But if these numbers are too spread out, I want you to take the smaller number and just keep doubling it up. Start skip counting by 12s and keep doubling it up till you can get as close to 40 as you can. So if you triple up 12, you get 36. Now, all you have to do now is how far apart is 36 and 40? They're four apart. About 90% of the time, the difference of those two numbers is the GCF. And in fact, in this case, the GCF of those two numbers is 4. Once again, double up the smaller number till you can get as close as you can to 40. Double it up, keep doubling it up till you get to 36. 36 and 40, how far apart are they? 4. About 90% of the time, the difference is 4. Now, if you find the difference and 4 does not go into both those numbers, a factor of that number will work. So let's see another example. If I wanted to simplify the fraction 18 thirtieths, what I would do is try to get these as close as possible as I can. Now right now, how far apart are they? They're 12 away from each other. But if I doubled up 18, it would become 36. Now I have 36 and 30. Now how far apart are they? They're 6 away. I would check that number. Does 6 go into both those numbers? Yes, it does. So to simplify this fraction, I'm going to divide the top and the bottom by 6, which is the GCF. 18 divided by 6 is 3. 30 divided by 6 is 5. And there you have it, 3 fifths. Now let's say I found the difference, which was 6, but 6 doesn't go into both those numbers. What I would want to do then is I would think of the factors of 6, so 3, 2, and 1. I would check those numbers. One of those numbers will work. All right? That's the greatest common factor trick. You won't find it in textbooks. Um, and it's very useful.